Hi everyone, welcome to our Marine Knowledge Channel. This is our Sailor Basha. Again, uh, one more technical video related to generators. So, whenever you do any decarb, whenever you do any changes in uh, con rod bolts, so always what you need to do is you have to do the tightness checking of uh, con rod bolts, either it's bigger end or uh, small end, whatever, whichever you are changing. It is always advisable to change to check the tightening of the bolts after 100 hours and 250 hours and uh, for this interval you can check with the makers reference so that uh, you can follow it accordingly so in this video uh, I would like to show how you have to check the tightness of the contract bolts so basically as I always say you follow the uh, safety procedures all the uh, stop the generator stop the loop oil pump turn the uh, governor lever to stop portion put it in local local portion fill the risk assessment form and if there is any cold work it cold work permit form you have to fill it out and if there is any company specific uh, uh, forms you have to fill it out actually you have to take essential care than the procedures you follow the procedure strictly and if you follow that also it is very fine you will cover everything and after following this procedures and uh, how we need to check it when uh, you want to check the tightness of the uh, bolts all you need to do is suppose the maximum opening pressure of a uh, bolt is say 1100 bar so you just uh, increase the pressure to 1050 so 50 bar lesser than the existing pressure means uh, tightening pressure so if it is uh, 700 bar pressure is to 650 just slack with the just try whether it is loosened or not if it is fine just stop it then that means it is in a good position so this is how you have to check we will see in the video so that you will find more uh, easy to understand we will go and check the video This is uh, Hemsen generator H25 model and uh, now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to check the tightness of contract bolts. So basically what we do is after completion of our uh, decap we will put a marking for all the bolts so after uh, 100 hours or uh, 25 hours whichever the interval which is mentioned by the maker we do the check visual check like whether the markings are in place so that is the first check uh, to uh, assure the bolts and the nut or uh, nut was not get loosened so here is what uh, we are going to do now first visual check like all the markings are in its place so there is no changes of uh, any direction for the nut so after doing a visual check the next check is we have to check along with the help of hydraulic pressure so what we need to do is uh, as i already said do all the safety precautions and everything this is a hydraulic uh, jack which we are going to use for uh, tightness checking so you have to fix the jack on both the side opposite opposite and cross cross checking that is what you say for this since we have four bolts so we do cross to cross one on this side the other on the opposite side so fix the spacer fix the bolt and uh, you have to fix the jack jack also tighten it so the on the other side our third engineer is uh, fixing the hydraulic jack so this job is little uh, critical in the sense you have to do it very properly and uh, i always say when you are handling the hydraulic jack inside the crankcase uh, of a generator be very careful hold is very properly so after tightening after fixing the hydraulic jack fix the hydraulic hose 
and make sure the hose connection fittings everything is in a good condition and then next what you need to do is you can see I am uh, showing the other side also we had fixed the hydraulic jack assembly so after fixing it uh, for now uh, for doing this job at least we need uh, three persons because uh, this job it's a big generator and so we need three person at least uh, uh, to carry out this job so now both the side the hydraulic jack was placed in place so next uh, we are uh, going to increase the pressure so as i said earlier for this the opening pressure i think it is 1100 so what we do is we take to 1000 and check whether it is loosened or not you can see there is uh, no changes it is still fine so you do the same way for the other three bolts also so this is how you have to do the tightness checking thank you all